Hello, everybody. It is uh, Monday, September 14th. I am sorry. I completely forgot what I was doing for a second there. Uh, anyway, this is Jonathan from Radio Tokyo, of course, and live now. If you're, if you're listening live, that's amazing. If you're not, that's fine, too, I guess. Uh, before I get into the day's show, and I'm, I'm going to try and cover quite a bit here, I'm going to do something that I apparently never did, and I'm sorry I never did it. Uh, I actually got called out on doing on not on, on not having done this. So um, I don't know if you can hear me shaking this around right now. Uh, this is the names for the people who signed up for our fan sign contest. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake them up a little bit, you know, rattle them around in here, and I'm gonna pull the name out and I'm gonna go ahead and announce it live right now. So if you're listening right now and you signed up for the fan sign contest, this is your chance to win. Oh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's see. And who did we get? And pulled it out live on air. Russell. Okay. That's settled. Uh, you will be getting your fan sign. I'm going to need your um, uh, snail mail address. So I'll contact you, Russell, and I'll get the fan sign out to you as quickly as possible. I am so sorry it has taken so long, and I'm sorry that it's taken... So, uh, it, really, truly, what happened is I forgot, you know, uh, got, got kind of busy, got distracted, and I completely forgot about doing it. Danny forgot, Nick forgot. We're all sorry. Uh, I promise you, you will be getting it. So, uh, yeah, uh, this weekend was kind of a big weekend. Uh, fall TV has kind of started, you know, it kind of has, kind of hasn't. Um, I actually got mixed up, and I thought, yes, uh, well, sorry, Saturday was going to be the day that uh, the new Doctor Who season would start. It's not. It's next week. Uh, but My Little Pony, Friends of Magic, did, did pick up on Saturday. So if you watch that, you got to see it. Uh, they're premiering a new, uh, premiering, premiering the, I think, third movie. The third movie where uh, the human girls are going to be, I think, next week. Something like that. Uh, apparently, it's not going to be shown in theaters like the initial one was. Um, yeah, uh, Fear the Walking Dead was yesterday, holy shit, things picked up, uh, I would, I, I would give a review of it, uh, but I don't want to spoil everything, but suffice to say that if you have not watched the show, if you have not watched, watch just the first 20 minutes of yesterday's episode, if you get a chance, and tell me that you have no interest in it. Uh, there's uh, a month away, well, just, just slightly less than a month away from uh, the, the the normal Walking Dead picking up. And let's see, uh, The Nick is coming on soon. If you have never watched, if you didn't watch the first season of The Nick, it's amazing. It's very, very good. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Gotham's coming on here, uh, I believe, next Monday. So, you have about a week. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah. Gotham is a week away. Gotham is a week away. I'm excited. It's, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a much better second season than the first season. The first season they had a few problems. Um, some of the storylines, you know, didn't quite tie together and it didn't work out. But this one's going to be better. They've promised they're going to introduce more villains. It's going to make more sense. I'm excited. Uh, we do know uh, that Bruce and Alfred are going to go down to the Batcave. We do know it's been confirmed they're going to wander around. Well, it's not the Batcave, but it's going to be the Batcave. So I'm excited. Uh, let's see. Also, this past weekend, on yesterday, I believe, Blizzard released the cinematic and the launch date for StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. So if you're a StarCraft player, time to be excited about it. Really Really good time to be excited about it. I've never honestly played a lot of StarCraft. I really haven't. I'm sorry. I, w I wish I had. Uh, but I love the cinematic. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Uh, this week is going to be kind of busy. Not just, you know, um, 
geek story wise, but because the Republican the, the, the you know, sorry, the Republican debate on CNN is I think Wednesday, you know, and I, I, I know most of you might not care, but it's it's gonna be on. I'm gonna watch, so there may or may not be a show that day. Just be prepared. Uh, speaking for stuff that's coming out, you know, soon, hopefully soon, and by soon I mean July of 2017. Uh, there has been some, the the rumor mill has been spitting stuff out all day today. Um, apparently Christopher Nolan, yes, the one, the only Christopher Nolan, you know, the Dark Knight Christopher Nolan, and Inception Christopher Nolan, uh, his name is now apparently attached to the Akira live-action movie. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen. Supposedly it's going to happen, uh, but like I said, his name is... Being tied to it, uh, it's it's, it's going to be done by Warner Brothers. You know, Warner Brothers has done quite a few great movies over the years, uh, but his name being attached to it is really the first actual um, thing that we can point to and say, "Hey, this might be happening." Now, along with the announcement that it was going that he that of his name, you know, coming out, and it's not it's not really an announcement. It's, to, it's, it's still a rumor. Um, along with that was the idea that this might possibly be a trilogy. Now, that makes me wonder. Um, typically, when someone thinks of Akira, you know, they think of the movie. You know, the, the, you know, the animated movie that came out from the 80s, which is beautiful. It really is. And uh, Ketsuhiro Odomo did, it's an astounding job um, on both the uh, manga and uh, the movie. Now the problem with the movie is there are lots of storylines that are dropped. In fact, the pretty much the second half of the manga is not even in the movie. Um, but theoretically, if we're getting a trilogy of Akira films, that might mean it's entirely possible that we'll see the full manga, you know, essentially brought to life. Uh, my issue with this is I I really don't want to see that happen. Honestly, I don't. I'm sorry. I, I happen to like Akira the way it is. I love the the movie from the 80s. It's beautiful. It's one of my, it's not only one of my favorite anime movies of all time. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. But I'm excited for it. Um, in other news, you know, because because th 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 there really is so much I wanted to go over, but I but I'm not gonna you know, spend all day uh, talking about things. Um, I just forgot her name. I'm sorry. Uh, Rachel McAdams. Rachel McAdams has decided, or she's announced, officially, she's confirmed, rather, that she will be in Doctor Strange. Uh, Chloe Bennett's look for uh, Season 3 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has been announced. Uh, Tom Hardy has been in the news because apparently she was asked, about his sexuality, and essentially his response was, it doesn't matter, I don't know why you're asking me, and just just because, you know, it's still somehow newsworthy, even though it's really not, uh, Nicole Arbor has made another video, if you've seen it, cool, if you haven't, cool, I don't particularly give a damn, uh, but her new video is her explaining, you know, her... It, what, what she's had to overcome in her life to the audience, and that was a car accident back in 2006. Now, honestly, looking at the timing of this, and, you know, looking at the the past couple of videos where she said, I don't give a fuck what anyone has to say about me, or what anyone says in general, I'm going to do my thing, I'm going to say whatever I want to say, and you can just go to hell, which is pretty much what she's been saying. Um, she posted this video and you know told her personal story and I feel bad for her I really do now of course I can I cannot confirm or deny that she was in a seriously bad car accident and if she was I'm sorry you look fantastic Nicole you really do you've gotten over the injuries that you claim to sustained pretty pretty spectacularly if I if I do say so myself but again you know I can't confirm it uh, all, all I know is that the timing of it is just a little strange, and it seems uh, to, it, it, I, I'm I'm probably wrong in this, and if I am, that's fine. Uh, but it just seems to me that she's 
essentially posting it to try and get some more views and to get people to feel sorry for her. But she has had a lot more responses to uh, the video, of course. You know, she's been nothing but proud about getting uh, more and more and more subscribers and everything for it. So, I get... I, I guess she's somehow relevant. I mean, she's clearly gotten her 15 minutes of fame. She's been in time. She's been on CNN and whatnot. So, we'll just find out. Not that it matters, I guess. But anyway, uh, that's really all I wanted to get into today. Well, there's a lot more, but, you know, I could I can always save it for Wednesday show. The, the, the Wednesday show, I'm sorry. The Wednesday show. So, yeah. Uh, tune in for that. Tune in for the Friday show. We'll, I, I promise we're going to do a show on Friday. I know we didn't do it this past Friday, and I'm sorry. Uh, if you have noticed our, well, noticed the announcement on the Facebook page, uh, we just decided to kind of take a break that day uh, because, you know, anniversary is 9 11 and everything. So we thought it would be a good point in time and hopefully understandable to everyone that we just didn't do the show. So. I, I, ho I hope it's okay, and I hope you don't know none of you are too overly upset. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing this. Uh, please remember to like us on Facebook. Tell Nick how much you hate him. Tell Denny to make sure she never leaves us again. And just be here Wednesday and Friday, and we'll talk to all of you soon. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.